What's up guys, my name is Spartan 95 and today I'm once again bringing you Armour 3. This episode was originally going to be a multiplayer and showing you how it changed from Armour 2 and what it was like, review and stuff like that. But my connection is just kicking us out of all the servers. It's not liking it. So I've been talking to a few people who play Armour and a lot of them have been saying the thing they've struggled with the most on armor is flying a helicopter. Now if you're new to armor, it does take a long time to get used to. Like, not a long time, but it takes a bit of time to get used to. So what I'm going to try and do is give you a basic tutorial. Not advanced, not A to A combat, just A to ground of what I do. Show you what I do, see if you can learn anything off it. I should say if you have got armor 1, Armour 1, Armour 2. Go play that. There's tutorials on there. It hasn't changed that much from Armour 2. Armour 3 is the same basic gameplay, same buttons, same setup. So I am using as well the base, the default layout, key layout, key bindings. And so control should be default. I'm just going to. Instead of setting up a uh, little bit of lag, oh. um, I do indeed. That's not very nice, is it? Can't play through it. Um, I am just using the showcase mission here, so uh, we'll get out. Roger. Actually, we'll just leave it. If when you walk, you should know how to get into a vehicle. Just walk up, wait until that symbol comes up, hit enter. Right, I ah, hit enter. You can hit space as well. Just start a chopper. It's not W. What you might think, it is Q. So if you hit and hold the Q, your rotors will start up. Just keep holding, and eventually, you notice in the top left, you've got altitude at the bottom, so when I get higher, it's in meters, and above that, we've got the speed, the speed the chopper's going. So, once you're in the air, basically do what you want. The mouse will turn the chopper, so if you, if you turn, well, if you're going at speed, so if I get some speed up, you, to get speed, just drop the nose, fly a bit, Try and fire low and you'll build up speed, you'll notice mine's going over 200. So if you want to turn diagonally right, if I want to turn right. So, all I'm doing is moving the mouse around. And then leveling out. That's how I turn, I find that the easiest way to turn. We'll go to engage the, the enemies later, I'll just try and show the rest of this. The W will point your nose down drops your nose, just does the same as pushing the mouse down, pulling the mouse down, and D, F, S, raises the nose. You use S, say if you're going at a speed, if you're going fast, use S, pull up, let go of Q, and your speed will start like dramatically falling, because if, if you try and land at 200 kilometers an hour, you'll crash you'll crash so fast. D rolls the chopper right and A left. You can basically do do that with your mouse when you fly and you don't really I don't use them much. Sometimes when I'm going on corners, like if I'm turning fast. The other two for movement is X swings the tail out and C swings the tail out. So if I go in there it swings the tail swings the tail. If you, if you don't know, I've just pressed enter on the number pad and that switches between first and third person. I use first person for flying but I have to use third person for landing because I can't, I just can't get the hang of it. If you want to descend, once you've got, I usually like to go about 20 kilometers an hour before I start descending. It doesn't really matter too much. If you hold Z, it starts to slowly descend. So 
that is the basic controls. We'll move on to the combat now. We'll go and engage. Oh, see, that's what happens when you get W confused with Q, which does happen quite a bit. But we'll fly over to our enemies now. Fly nice and low. Make sure you don't fly too low though, because. Attack here! Griffin! Mike 26 is under sustained mortar attack! Unable to land, acknowledge! Apparently I'm under Locate and engage those mortars. So, we'll go to the mortars, which are over there. So on this chopper, I'm sorry, but I don't know the name. I'll, I'll stick it in the description because it's very long and begins with a K and complicated. We've got two main weapons for the pilot. Gatlin gun, just standard gun, and you've got, if you press F to change your weapon, you've got, I can't see what that says, I can't see what that says, Dagar, there we go. Now what you do, if you're facing a vehicle, if you press tab, you'll notice that lock on, then you get a little flying thing, so make sure Be advised, more that are neutralized. When you're flying, oh, a bit more lag. You've got to be looking at your target and make sure you've got a good view of your target, or you won't be able to get a lock on. And I've completely lost altitude because my engines failed, and I was oh, good toil. Let's give it a round of applause. Right, we'll move from the start zone and attack the vehicles and get going fully. So now you know. How to fly. Right, hopefully. The next stage is the ground uh, the air to ground combat. And like I said, we'll go through. We'll get back on the chopper. Griffin to all teams. Get to your vehicles. We've got reports of multiple contacts to the east. Get in. Hydra, drop the response team at the Camino base and await further intel. Roger. So Q, if you hold Q, like I said before, to take off, once you're up, you spin round with the mouse, spin to the left, and you're up in the air, point left. If you pull the mouse down towards you, drop the nose, and you'll start moving. And if you keep the nose down, keep the nose down until you start moving down. Pull up, and I've got to pull up a bit more here because of the hill. But then, if you just keep holding Q, speed up build, and you'll notice when I pull up, it drops. But when I pull down, when I pull it down, it goes back, it goes up. So keep keep it at this level until I have to engage the enemy. Hydra, be advised, we've got two Alpha so Victors approaching the radar. We've now got the targets. So I'll Understood, Griffin. Hydra diverting now. Find out where they are. So over there. So I'm gonna pull up, pull the nose up to slow down. Obviously, this is, you can't do it faster, but I'm for beginners. Pull the nose up, turn right with the mouse, hold Q, point the nose down towards them. You don't want to build up too much speed at this point. If you just hold Q and get some altitude. Now switch using F to your Dagar missiles. Press tab to get a lock. I haven't locked onto them. Just wait until we get around. Wait until around there. And pull up to slow down a bit. And there. So it see the little thing is over. So I missed. So that can happen. So what you do if you're going. I'm probably going a bit too fast there. So I'm going to swing round. Now if you swing round and hold C which will kick your rotor out. A bit, be a bit more of a faster turn. I've, I've mocked up again, can you believe it? This is a good time for a tutorial. Mocking up twice. So I'm going to slow it down. Slow it right down. Swing around. Slowly swing it around. Keeping the nose up. So not to gain any much speed. So I've got a lock. Uh, hold Z 
to descend. I've completely lost them. So I'm going to swing around using the mouse. One thing is, I have not got a lot of mouse space, so I do have to move the mouse a lot more than you will probably have to. So I swung around, got a lock, and that missed again. Have Vehicle it? neutralized! No, got, that's one of them. So. Griffin, this is Hydra. We've spotted sadly, an enemy mortar replacement one. near the radar so facility. Done very well. Understood. Locate and but, those mortars. I'll show you. Let's swing around again. This is my first tutorial, so it's I find it a bit weird to try and play a bit slower than I usually would, so swing around. Got a lock. Enough. Swing around again. This tutorial's going brilliantly. It was all going too well at the beginning, you've got to say that. So swing around. No, it's, it's speed, we are picking up a bit of speed. So you might it's probably advisable to take it slower. But I've got a lot. And that's gone. Be advised, mortars are neutralized. Hydra, deploy Viper Red at Mike 26 so, and report back. Switch back to Gatlin. Understood, moving into land. Swing around. Now this, in my opinion, is the hardest part of flying each other. The landing. Because if you land too fast and too hard, your engine will fail like you saw before. I took a bit of fire. The engine failed, and once that's once the engines failed, you've had it. But if you notice, I put the air up. Probably did it a bit too much there. But drop the speed, get it about point, make it so you're going forward, but not so just going forward. So go a little bit further. Once you get over the target, just pull your nose up, and you want to get to. Because we're stopping stop straight away, so pull up, pull up. We're, we're, we've done it. I'm a bit over, but that's alright, that's alright. So we'll start holding Z now, start descending on the target. Just level up, holding Z. And this is going to take a while because I was a bit high. Take fire off that other vehicle, which I will, even though I don't have to, I'll take it. So, target's there. Pull forward a bit, just gently. Just adjusting. Sorry for the lack of talking here, I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up in the line. I'm too far back, so pull forward a bit. Straight now. Just tap, tap it slowly. And we're done. Hydra has landed at Mike 26. Viper Red, go, so, go, go! Once you're down, obviously in multiplayer situations, if you're going to be a dedicated chopper pilot, you will, you'll be have, you'll have to Griffin, make faster Viper landings team than deployed. that. Understood. Proceed to and you'll have to get used to doing speed okay. landings. But that's for more advanced. This is just designed for a simple tutorial. So, if you notice, the car was shooting at us that we left before, the game's just saving. Yeah, I missed before, that car was shooting at us. So what I'm going to do, get some altitude, find out where the shots are coming from, down there, next to the blown up car. So go in first person, just drop the nose, turn towards, see if I can get a target, see if there's anything there. No, it's just, it looks like it is just one man, so I'm just going to switch to myself. And he's gone. <laughs> now at this point, I am. Heal that soldier. Heal that, I can't heal that soldier. Cause anyway, at this point, I'm out. I'm out of ammo from rockets, so I have to go and real supply. So, go to the area. Do it, do it fast. Just on top of this hill, you can see it now. So about here, start pull up. Now I've overshot a bit, so let it go back and then. So got up, just 
tall queue. Pull it forward a bit so I don't completely miss. Like I say, I prefer to do this in third person, and it makes it easier and harder at the same time, but it's just what I've gotten used to. You tend to always, when you're coming in for the final landing, you always tend to be wanting to be your nose slightly pointed up. So I've pointed it down just to get in position here. Slightly pointed up. Now, sorry about this. And I've completely overdone it. And that's the engine field. That's what happens when you come in too hard. Hydra is rearming at Rogaine. It says, if you look at the engine, it's now red. This chopper's pretty much had it. If it, if it manages to take off again, it'll probably stall through here. Chances are, if I take a couple more shots. We'll see what happens. That's just an example of what happens if you come in too hard. You'll buggy your engine, you'll buggy your chopper. And if you're having to take troops in and you stall in the air, there is actually something you can do. Is if you just if you roll, if you roll as fail in mid air, once you're in the air, Griffin, you just have to, Hydra. We're good to go here. try and keep a steady Hydra, drift. If I try and get up, and heal it so it's not going to go. But I've played this before. If, so good, really. if you watch me, the actual sh helicopter showcase, you'll see. Play a, a bit, I'd say a bit better, <laughs> a lot better, just because I'm not trying to talk as much. But so if we're looking down there. So we'll switch to our missiles. Press Tab, and you can see we've locked on the mortar already. So I'm just going to try and get down and get across. And as soon as I hit it, and that's hit the wrong. Enemy mortars nope, are no. destroyed. Well done, Hydra. Ground forces will take it. care of the remaining enemy present. Return to the airbase. Copy that, Griffin. We're RTB. What I'll try and do now, it's what I haven't actually done in this game yet. So I'll, I'll try a, a fast land and I'll try and show you what it's like to do, say if you're in, I shouldn't leave my mouse on if it's not going um, I'll try and show you what it's like if, you, if you're in a mission, a co-op mission and you're the chopper pilot. So you want to get there fast, you don't want to fly too high, you don't want to be seen. So if you just make sure you're flying relatively low, not too low so that a tank could shoot you. Because that, that was, then you, everyone will be angry. And it is worth saying as well, don't, don't, um, I was going to say, don't, Volunteer for a mission unless you're certain. A bit, a bit lower. Let's talk about it. Um, don't volunteer for a mission as a chopper pilot unless you're certain as a chopper pilot because a lot of uh, many people won't be bothered. There's a few people might, if you crash, won't be happy. Especially if you just do it, easy simple mistake. It's like, I, I know for a fact I'm probably not good enough fly chopper in mission. Maybe as a, like, like a, 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 I don't know, de deploy troops, meh. But certainly not in full combat mission. So we're coming in fast. We're coming in quite low. I'm going to let off Q. I'm going to start tapping Z slowly. So you notice we're slowly decreasing. I'm trying to land in first first person as well, so we're going fast, we're going to pull up here, as soon as it, there, I've got that now, now I'm going to start holding, I'm going to pull up so I don't gain any more attitude, start holding Z, slowly descending, 100 meters now, Once you're stationary, you're, once you're 
hovering basically. I've overshot by quite a bit, so I'm just gonna fly over. I'm not gonna put any speed in, or just so I can easily stop. Start slow down now, get below 20. Start dropping. But while still trying to get over. You don't have to be dot on the mark. I want it. I'll, I like to try, but I'm not going to succeed this time. But that doesn't matter. I've landed. I'm near enough to mark. Home sweet home. And that's how you fly. A helicopter. Tigra, we're running low on ammo. Copy that. Proceed to resupply at Camp Rogaine. So, I hope this offered you some help and showed you what not to do in some cases. You will eventually have to fly a chopper at some point. It's just trying to get used to it. Play. That's all I can advise. The more you play, the better more you get used to it, the better you get. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Next video should, hopefully, be multiplayer. But until then, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe because it will really help us out. But until next time, see ya.